Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Three years ago, when consumers around the world complained about the delay in the delivery of the cars they ordered, perhaps no one would have thought that chips, a thumbnail-sized thing, would become a bottleneck in modern industry. From mobile phones to cars, from smart watches to home appliances, Countless products have been stagnant due to chip shortages. The most exaggerated is that large automakers, such as Toyota, have to shut down their production lines directly due to insufficient chip supply. The question is, aren't chips tiny electronic parts? Why do they paralyze the entire world? The answer lies in the manufacturing process of chips. The core problem is a device called photolithography machine. The shortage of photolithography machines seems to have strangled the throat of the chip industry, and the global supply chain is in chaos. So, how important is this device? Why has it become the center of the storm of technological competition? To understand the importance of photolithography machines, let's talk about its role first. For example, chip manufacturing is like printing a circuit diagram, and the photolithography machine is the most core camera in the printing process. It uses extremely fine beams of light to project the circuit diagram onto silicon wafers. Without lithography machines, the entire chip manufacturing process is out of the question. Unfortunately, this camera is not something that any company can make. From research and development to production, each lithography machine requires thousands of precision components to cooperate, not to mention the support of high-end algorithms. And the world's most advanced lithography machine EUV, Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography Machine, is almost ASML alone. ASML, a Dutch company, monopolizes more than 90% of the EUV lithography machine market. In other words, the global chip production capacity is almost in its hands. What's even more annoying is that lithography machines have become a tool for political wrestling. Due to the increasing technological competition between China and the United States, the United States has frequently put pressure on ASML to prevent it from selling EUV lithography machines to China. This restriction not only puts Chinese companies, such as SMIC, in the dilemma of supply cuts, but also directly leads to the escalation of the chip shortage crisis. Is the reason behind the lithography machine being stuck a technical problem or a political problem? The answer is obviously self-evident. Faced with the dilemma of being stuck in the neck, China did not choose to retreat, but to find another way. The domestic scientific research team used the spirit of ants gnawing bones to carve out a bloody path in the field of lithography machines. After several years of overcoming difficulties, China's domestically produced 28 nanometers immersion lithography machine has finally come out. Although this equipment cannot match ASML's EUV technology for the time being, it can already produce 14 nanometers, or even 7 nanometers, chips through multiple exposure processes. Such a breakthrough not only breaks the technological blockade, but also means that China has occupied a place in the field of mid- and low-end chip manufacturing equipment especially in the fields of the Internet of Things and automotive electronics. The demand for 14 nanometers chips is huge, and the advent of China's domestically produced lithography machines has solved the urgent problem. Moreover, what is more proud is that more than 90% of the components of this 28 nanometers lithography machine have been localized. From core technology to industrial chain ecology, China finally has its own voice. Some people may ask, what can 14 nanometers chips do? 
Isn't it better to have more advanced chips? In fact, it is not. For many home appliances, automobiles and industrial equipment, mid- and low-end chips are the main force. This is why the breakthrough of China's domestic lithography machines is not only a spare tire solution, but also a real way to survive. The rise of China's domestic lithography machines not only affects the domestic market, but also stirs up a pool of spring water in the international chip market. For a long time, ASML has formed a deep moat through technical patents and industrial chain layout. Although Japan's Nikon and Canon can also produce lithography machines, their market share has been eroded by ASML. The breakthrough of China's lithography machines is quietly changing this situation. On the one hand, domestic equipment has begun to be exported, directly threatening the position of Japan and South Korea in the low-end market. On the other hand, the global market structure of lithography machines has become more complicated due to China's participation. Foreign media even commented that the dust of the chip war may be gradually settling. Of course, this transformation is also accompanied by new challenges. For example, can domestic lithography machines win the recognition of the international market? Can they break the technical bottleneck of high-end equipment? These issues need time to verify. But one thing is certain. China is no longer a role that can only be beaten, but an important player in the global technology game. Although domestic lithography machines have made remarkable progress, it has to be admitted that China still has a long way to go to reach the true top level. Take EUV lithography machines as an example. This equipment not only has a high technical threshold, but also has extremely staggering R&D costs. The price of an EUV lithography machine is as high as 120 million US dollars, and its R&D cycle may take more than 10 years. More importantly, the R&D of lithography machines is inseparable from the accumulation of talents and technology. And this is the biggest challenge that Chinese scientific research teams need to face in the future. The good news is that the country's increased investment in science and technology is gradually narrowing this gap. Moreover, with the continuous improvement of the localization rate, the breakthrough of technical bottlenecks is just around the corner. Foreign media's evaluation of China's lithography machines has also undergone subtle changes. From the initial doubts to the current recognition, and even vigilance, it is enough to show that China's potential in this field has been seen. It can be said that this is both a difficult starting point and a promising future. A lithography machine reflects a country's catch-up and breakthrough in the field of science and technology. The rise of China's domestic lithography machines may not be the end, but a new beginning in the global chip competition.